expected the purple which of course is and what's going on champ how's everything shit uh, i'm good um just in training camp getting ready for my fight took a little break to come see this fight and uh, i'm focused big spectacle two big dragon eyes collide man for this big platform man do you, do you wish you, you was like at least part of the undercard i mean 50 50. It's, it's hard to say because uh i feel like the undercard could have been better uh, if it's, especially if you put somebody like me on the undercard. But then you got to realize I'm fighting in the main event uh, at basically home at uh, Madison Square Garden Theater. So 50-50 um, on that, I can't really um, complain too much about yeah, it. I still remember talk, first time talking to you, I think 2017. Yeah. It's just so hard to believe. Like two, two to three years later, I'm like, man, like, Shakur is really a world champion. Not to say that you were never going to become a world yeah, champion. But it feels like the process just went by quick. one, two, three. Yeah, you quick. Know, I mean, how's that? feeling of a champion fully digested already or are you still like slowly for surely like oh you know what I'm a world champion if I'm being 100% honest with you I, uh, it don't really mean that much to me because it's like uh, this guy's world champion this guy's world champion uh, there's a bunch of people that's like world champions also so uh, it don't really mean that much to me uh, I, I, that's like a short term goal at the time they meant everything to me uh, now that I'm here and actually a world champion I want to become a star Star, yeah. Which you're well on your way. Yeah, on the verge. Already, you know? Yeah. I want to talk to you about the fight, Miguel Mariaga. I know he fought Loma, I think. One yeah. Time. Is that a way to compare and contrast? If you, you know, meet you and Loma. Five I mean, down the road? Uh, not at all because style make fights, but uh, I'm competitive. I definitely am um, gonna go in there and try to get him out of there before uh, Lomachenko did. So uh, that's my goal. But at the end of the day, style make fights. If I go in there and we go 12 rounds. And then I go fight Lemachenko and I knock Lemachenko out. Style me fights. And were you mad by any chance of, with the reactions of uh, what's his name, Josh Warrington going to match him? Hell no. Nah. Nah. Uh, I think that Eddie Hearn got more money. So if Josh Warrington want the big fight with me, that'd be easy to make. Oh, you think it was easier to make? Yeah, I think I was, easier. I was a little confused because I know he was with Frank. Yeah, so but Frank ain't, of Frank Pockets wasn't long enough. Okay, so I was, maybe for the fans because. They were saying, well, because he's with Frank, wouldn't he be associated Closer with Closer to rank? top rank, but okay. we just seen Maurice Hooker versus, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, uh Ramirez? Yeah, Ramirez. Yeah. Wasn't that like a, don't yeah. Eddie got a little part of yeah, yeah. Maurice he's, and Hooker's with Brock Nation primarily, but then, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So you feel like that fight going to be I think it's going to be easier to make, easier to make because, uh, especially if Warrington want to fight. So if Warrington want to fight for real, that fight should be easier to make. Yeah, in regards to, you know, now we're talking about different fighters on the Chanko, it seems like Tafim is also in a, in a fast pace to become a superstar like yourself. Do you think it could be justified of him if he beats Loma when they clash to be considered the pound for pound listings, knowing that everybody has him like number, uh, Loma Chanko number one in pound for pound rankings? Uh, uh, I don't think he'll be at like the number one, but he'll definitely uh, beat one of the top fighters in the sport. And you gotta respect Tiafimo for even taking that challenge on and uh, making it happen. So I think that, uh, I think that I, I want Tiafimo to win. I'm with Tiafimo supporting him in his decision to fight uh, Lemachenko, but I think it's a little too early. There you go. I wanna, wait, what about this fight? Um, I know this just happened. Farmer and Diaz. Diaz also former Olympian. Now he's a world champion. Yeah. You know, maybe down the road, 130. Like, what do you think about Jojo Diaz now that he's a world champion? I think uh, Jojo, a hell of a fight. I got nothing but uh, love and respect for Jojo. Uh, I just sparred Jojo right after my Olympic, um, after I came back from the Olympics. So uh, that would be a hell of a fight. Um, if that was to be made, and but it's nothing but uh, love and respect for Jojo Diaz. And, and I think a lot of fans seem to lose the aspect of you know you know this is a hurt business. You're here to you know fight, do your thing, win, and you know create a legacy. But they also forget that after the fight, it's all love and respect. Yeah, and most I appreciate definitely. that from you because a lot of youngsters from. What I witnessed, you know, they could be a little bit arrogant, cocky, oh, I got no respect for nobody. Yeah. For you, at such a young age, and to have that respect, it teaches, it, it shows me that you got the right team and people are, are guiding you to the right direction, champ. So. Yeah, most definitely, I appreciate that. But, um, like, before and after the fight, uh, I want the best for all the people. If, you, if I meet you and yeah. it's good vibes and energy and love, just like, like with Jojo Diaz, I want the best for yeah. Jojo or... Uh, Devin or uh, all these other guys, like I, I can't sit back and hate on these guys because yeah. at the end of the day, we all in the same business. We yeah. all go through the same things. Uh, as boxers, we going through a lot. So yeah. being that we going through this stuff, uh, I got nothing but 
love and respect for these dudes. But I always tell some of the some of the people that I know in the media business, I'm like Shakur. I feel like he's part of my era. You know, yeah. youngsters. I mean, I'm on the I'm 25. I'm yeah. about, you know what I mean? Like, so it's good, man. But any last words from fans? Nah, just tune in. Um, March. tune in March 14th. I fight on ESPN. Uh, I'm gonna put on a hell of a show, hell of a beat down. And uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Shakur Stevenson. There you go. We're going to try to have you in the podcast, man. So we'll Whenever. Whenever. Thanks. Yeah, you. whenever. Appreciate, you. Yeah, appreciate that. There you go. Go love, bro. Thank you, bro.